Hi everyone, this video is to actually um, show uh, some of my uh, tests uh, on uh, coil geometry and um, so far I've not found any benefits of uh, resonating uh, different coil geometries so if you remember my spool of 100 foot uh, wire uh, this kind of speaker wire I was using, the 18 gauge. Um, I took it apart and I actually uh, just spooled it like continuously on this very large uh, cardboard tube here. And uh, so the wire is starting right from the bottom and going one layer right up to the top. And uh, I tested it in the same way as I had it previously tested and found no benefits at all uh, on that particular uh, coil configuration and uh, then the next step was as I've been always interested in testing testing the uh, uh, Tesla pancake coil so I made myself a Tesla pancake coil and uh, here it is and that's that same spool of wire which uh, starts right here at the center and is spooled out all the way at the ends here. What I use is this is just a piece of wood or particle board and I put uh, double face uh, carpet tape, exterior carpet tape throughout this and this is what I had no idea how much the uh, wire would take space so I've got larger than what I need here but uh, well, it gives you an idea here the size of the uh, coil. Anyways, uh, I've tested this coil thoroughly and uh, I have no, I can't, I can't even get the neon bulb uh, to light once it reaches resonance. It's very uh, weak once, it's, once it reaches resonance and since this wire is also double, uh, I was able to test it in bifolar uh, configuration as well and uh, I actually find, well there is a benefit in bifolar is that basically the coil is double because uh, let's say we use this here as the entry well then it comes back out here and then I recombine it here and uh, then goes back through again and you know completes the circuit so right now it is in bifolar uh, configuration uh, but if you look at the scope uh, wave, that's the probes directly on the uh, measuring uh, at resonance, what's uh, happening on the uh, electrical level of the coil. And if you look, you know, we got 51 volts RMS, and that's, that's the best I'm getting out of that uh, coil configuration. And if we just throw quickly my pickup coil here which is on that 10 ohm resistor just over the surface of that right just to you know see if we can pick up some energy we can I you know 0 0.61 volts but that's nothing I mean uh, the best coil that's given me the best performance so far is this one here so I was also trying to find out if this plastic coated uh, you know kind of speaker wire or lamp wire was a benefit over the uh, uh, magnet wire like this and I found no benefits at all still this coil here which has got the magnet wire being wounded tight uh, is giving me the best uh, results and that's if I throw on this uh, secondary antenna pickup coil over it uh, which has got, you know, about, well, let's see here if I can fit that. It, it's, it has nearly like uh, about three quarters of an inch space all around it. And with that on that coil itself, once it's at resonance, I'm able to charge the, uh, the, uh, the capacitor with the 10 ohm load to about, um, I think it's about 1.15 uh, volts. So this is the one that's giving me the best results. Uh, that would be with the bulb being extinguished and the uh, 
output full on the uh, signal generator. So I would say magnet wire is definitely a, uh, a bonus and um, just a simple uh, regular coil configuration like this would be fine. The only thing I haven't tested yet is you know going uh, like a, another layer over on top of that layer and seeing you know if that has any uh, benefits or withdraws you know as far as uh, what we'd be looking for. So just thought I'd update you on that and uh, so you don't really waste your time too much on you know coil geometry. Um, I haven't found anything worthwhile with this. So I think this uh, configuration is what I'm going to continue testing with and I'm going to spool a whole bunch of these uh, when I receive my wire that I've uh, ordered. Uh, I've actually ordered some magnet wire on uh, eBay and uh, that's going to be coming in real soon. And I'll spool a whole bunch of identical coils and I've got six 12 volt uh, seal lead batteries that are coming in that I'll have them all in series and uh, hopefully we'll even have uh, Ground Loop's uh, new circuit that he's uh, generously made for me and we'll put it all together and hopefully we'll have a self-sustaining uh, uh, system that uh, it'll you know keep the batteries charged as it maintains a load or something. So that, that'll be the next uh, test. So I just thought I'd share this with you, which is, you know, nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing spectacular. And uh, coil geometry is, is not going to do anything, or I'm not understanding what to do with the coil geometry and resonance to get any added benefits from just a standard coil. All right, so I'll post this, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.